Hey guys, it's Rachel with The Certified Funnel Builder, and I am your Certified Funnel Builder, and today we're going to be talking about testing a sales funnel in ClickFunnels 2.0. So it is not very hard at all. Um, there's just a few little tricks you need to know to make sure that your launch goes successful. So let's hop right in, guys. Um, I am just in the settings of this funnel right here, the sales funnel that I've built. And I'm going to come over to the settings up here in the right-hand corner. And I just want to make sure that test mode is on, which it already is. So if it wasn't, you just click yes. And then make sure you click update funnel. And that should do it. Um, now, when testing, I like to do them in incognito windows just to make sure that nothing in my browser could upset the process or anything. So I'm just going to double-click this little arrow and then go open link in incognito window. And I'm going to let that load for a second. All right, and it pulled up. So now what I want to do is um, I want to run through here and make sure that all of my buttons work. So as you can see, I just want them to be opening up this uh, pop-up that they're going to opt into. So I'm just going to run through and double check that all these are working, which they seem to be. But sometimes you forget to do this and then you launch it and then, you know, you just want everything to be perfect. So just double check. All right. This one works. Let me keep going. And I think this is the last one. All right. So that seems to work. Now I'm going to just write test three because this is my third test that I've done. Um, and I just like to name them in the order of the test that I'm doing so that it's helpful in the back end when I see it. And then you also want to use a unique email. So it doesn't really matter what email you use but you want to make it unique every single time. So I'm going to add that plus three right there because it is my third test. And if I were to need to test it again, I would do test four and I would put a little plus four right there. Um, that helps. It just reads it as a new email. Therefore, it's not getting confused or anything by you using the same email over and over again. All right. So I'm going to submit this. And as I have been doing the test, I've seen that the page speed is a little slow. So that is something I think I want to go in and uh, fix up before I do launch this funnel. So I'm just going to copy this uh, credit card number right up here at the top. And I'm going to scroll down to my order form. Make sure all this works. I'm going to do test three. And now I'm going to come in here and paste the credit card number. You can use any expiration that is in the future and then any security code, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna click submit, oops, and I didn't check this box. So that good, that's good that that works right there. And let's try again. It's taken it a minute, but it should go through. All right, guys, and it took us to the thank you page. So that's perfect. And this is the order confirmation. It was a 14 day free trial, so they didn't actually have to uh, have to pay for anything today. That's why it says zero right there. And everything looked to be working good. Um, so what I would do next is I would go into my email and make sure that I got the deliverabilities and that those all of those look okay and uh, ready to go. And then lastly, I would also do a test on my phone. So I'd pull this up in an incognito window on my phone and run through all of it to make sure that that works because that's where a lot of issues come into hand. Um, so you just want to make sure that's all ready to go as well. Um, we have something coming up that uh, this next week that is super exciting. It's going to help you guys with your launches and just make sure everything goes right and you guys can be successful. So just check out the comments, guys. Stay tuned, and uh, we got some more videos coming up this week. So, yeah, uh, y'all have a great day. Bye.